emergency vehicles getting hit on the side of the road is not rare. Just this week, a driver slammed into a Cleveland police officer's car on Interstate 90 in the middle of a construction zone on Thursday night. And the night before, one car slammed back right into the back of an ODOT truck on I-90 as well. The front of that car demolished. These are just a few examples of the danger of those who work on the roads and they experience it on a daily basis. As News 5's Tara Molina explains now, state troopers have been stepping up and cracking down on those who do not obey the move over law. You don't know they're there until it's too late. Close call? Counts. Counts. After close call. They continue to, to increase, yes. Sometimes. It is quite amazing how many people will drive by and just, it's like you're not even standing there. Much more than that. You really don't think that somebody's going to jump out in front of you when they really didn't jump out in front of you. You kind of just drove into them. Law enforcement, first responders, construction workers, towers. I've been hit by drunks twice. Folks who are just doing their jobs. There have been 162 ODOT employees killed doing their jobs at ODOT constantly in harm's way. People are still failing to move over. The move over law put in place back in 2009 and expanded in 2013 aims to put an end to it. It requires all drivers to move over one lane when approaching any vehicle with flashing lights. If moving over isn't possible, drivers are supposed to slow down. The cost of a ticket for not moving over ranges by city, but drivers can face hundreds of dollars in fines and points on their license. But unfortunately, to be honest, nothing can slow them down. It keeps happening here. And while law enforcement is doing more to enforce the law now, we can't be everywhere all the time. It's the growing issue behind a new campaign with the Ohio Department of Transportation, asking drivers to slow down, move over. You have to remember that the men and women working on our roadways every day have families. Putting a face on those most at risk. Pretty much you hope for the best. 152 ODOT vehicles struck just last year. Fatalities just recently. The gentleman in the Youngstown area, he was performing some brush clearing and tree clearing work on the side of the interstate and, and he was struck and killed. The continued problem begging a few questions. Is it really worth the rush? It's too late by the time they find out. And can more be done to teach? We'll position a vehicle to watch uh, for people failing to move over. And stop the drivers who aren't following the law. It can be a difficult one to enforce, but I know the Highway Patrol and local police are doing their best they can. That was Tara Molina reporting for us, and we do know that the Highway Patrol alone ticketed almost 4,000 drivers last year. Coming up next.